My name is Castle Gamer. Welcome back to Tour de France 24, episode number 37. Uh, in a total shocker, we broke away mid-stage on uh, stage 19, and we were going for KOM points. We went and claimed those KOM points and saw an advantage and fought to hang on to it. Ended up getting a pretty healthy advantage, but had very little energy to go along long long distance solo but as you can see here we succeeded with that with uh, a pretty epic solo victory by just 10 seconds and by 10 seconds we're literally talking about more like inches uh, i was completely gassed in the final kilometers and just setting the exact tempo that i could inch out and they were giving it their all, fighting for the stage, fighting for the GC, and just came flying up behind me. The couple minutes became a couple seconds in uh, an incredibly short amount of time. But I held on, and I got the win. I get a 10-second time bonus, and that was mega. That was absolutely mega to uh, the development and setting us up for a what I've got to say is uh, a likely win next season. With that success, I climb into the top five. Pagatcher leads overall. Venipola second. Vingegaard drops to third, but only one second behind. But then a massive drop off. Roglic is fourth, 1140 down. The podium is locked in with two stages to go. Roglic is going to be a hard catch because, well, one way stronger climber. And a way stronger time trialist. Bill Bow, at just under a minute behind, is going to be an interesting one because, at least to my knowledge, is not a strong time trialist. Does not have the great form. Has put in a fantastic tour, though, and is definitely a stronger climber than I am. But if we can hang on to this advantage through stage 20, there's no reason to think that I can't possibly, anyway. Uh, hang on through 21 and beat Bilbao. Meanwhile, Thomas is two and a half minutes down, and that's another one. Definitely a stronger time trialist than me, uh, but not anywhere near as strong as he used to be, and not as strong of a climber as he used to be. So, you know, there's a chance to hang on. Uh, likewise, you know, Carapaz or Hindley, we've got a real shot. Van Art, of course, is an incredible time trialist, but he has lost huge amounts of time. Van Art has uh, like an identical mountain rating or one point more than I do. He was in the same breakaway as me some stages ago that gained a pretty healthy chunk of time. Something like four or five minutes that saw me rise from somewhere in the teens to about sixth place. Van Art rose to the lead of the race held on to it for a little bit, but he lost time quickly and has continually lost time. And, you know, he's 22 minutes down, followed very closely by other riders. McNulty has slipped to 15th, and he's definitely out of it for any real contention. So uh, I want him to get a decent finish. I want him to earn points for the team. But clearly, at this point, I am the leader into these last two stages in fifth place. But very importantly here, it looks like I've locked up the King of the Mountains. I've got a 75-point advantage, doubling Pagatcher's score after scoring huge points in Stage 19, winning every single climb. I definitely got into a competitive position in the points, but not close enough uh, to properly challenge. And I, I was kind of looking at it a little bit ago going, gosh, it seems like if we can go claim a stage, <laughs> right, we can maybe contend. Well, we went and did it. And then we can maybe contend, but not really. It, it's a little too far down. We're definitely still too far behind uh, Venipole, but we are solidly in fifth place, uh, trying to hang on above Bahrain victorious, especially with the time trial coming. We're likely to lose some time. And certainly not close enough in the combativity either. Let's get to it. Last two stages. The strange thing about this stage 20 is with two Arscat climbs, 20 each, two Cat 1 climbs, 
I can't be caught. I've won the King of the Mountains. I've done it. So, woohoo! The big checkbox is checked with a stage to spare and a big stage at that. But now that I sit in fifth place, clearly into that leadership role, okay. Um, certainly changes things a bit, doesn't it? And I'm a weak climber. There's four mountains coming. Getting support will help me out. It will help me prolong. But it's a very different story when I'm in the breakaway and conserving that energy with an advantage up the road. I tend to do better with that than trying to sit on and climb with the best climbers when I'm not yet amongst them. I'm going to get so many points from this Tour de France that I'm going to be a very good climber after this race. But not yet. I still have two more stages to go until that happens. And I have, what, a 73, 74 mountain rating? 73, I believe. It's not elite level. I have a good medium mountain and hills rating. These are all big climbs. These are all proper mountain stages. Using up the domestiques will certainly help. Riding steady will certainly help. I have a feeling this is going to be a very hard stage for me to be successful in. I, I may even be lucky to still be in it at the final climb, especially when not only are we looking at four big climbs, we're looking at a 138 kilometer stage. So this is one of those new age Tour de France stages where it's all attack pretty much from the get-go. That does make it harder on a breakaway on this type of stage anyway, so maybe we are in the right place staying in the peloton. Stage underway. Fingers crossed that the first climb is not so bad. The feed zone in the middle. A lot of riders already up the road. 35 riders in all have gone away. Largest breakaway we have seen yet. Gap is already to three minutes. The leaders are in control at the front. And while it's going out for now, and it's getting pretty healthy pretty fast. Those guys might even have some sort of chance today. I doubt they're gonna would be given that leash were I uh, to join that breakaway today, right? They they've definitely been keeping breakaways closer of late. Riders already starting to get dropped from the front group, but we're seven minutes down. We are seven minutes down. Breakaway is gonna win the stage today. First climb being taken very easy that's good for the support part probably good for my circumstances not good for the whole they're gaining time thing how much time could be gained within that group well we'll see as it thins down a bit we're certainly going to be stepping up tempo at some stage and you would assume probably by this second climb considering we're looking at an 843 gap already that suddenly has stabilized and is actually just starting to creep in the other direction, which is hard to do on a descent. So here we go. <laughs> First make a climb of the day with a gap that's starting to shrink. So checking back in, we're down to eight riders at the front and they're all well over an hour down. So actually zero threats, zero threats GC wise. Uh, same in their chase group groups. Yeah, cross board everybody's an hour plus down in GC in the breakaway today so their eight minutes will not matter Cockard a little worse for wear Turge is a little worse for wear uh, at this point as we go to begin climb number two with a tempo that has stepped up a little but definitely not in any serious matter yet we do have that feed zone coming after this climb though I have a feeling with the Torini here in 20.9 kilometers, 5.8%. So not, not a serious climb in terms of the elevation change, the gradient, but distance certainly is. Uh, rounding that off to 21 kilometers, it's quite long. Uh, we're definitely gonna wanna use the gels as we do get the uh, replacement gels at the base of the mountain when we come down the other side. And we're not too far off from wanting to use that now. Uh, gap's already down to 745, so we are closing it in. And, of course, that front group's already disintegrated. And let's just go ahead and have everyone gel now. Okay, I'll consume a feed. McNulty looking real strong. He's definitely the freshest at this point. But despite breakaways and the, the crazy long 
stage 19 victory that I just claimed, uh, I'm still the second best of the team, and I'm nowhere near the best climber. So uh, we're already down a couple riders. Let's get uh, Hamilton. Down to 36, and down to just three from our team. As we approach the top, down to two. Down to 14 riders left. Yowzer. McNulty is here. I am here. Barely. Barely making the top. Seven minutes behind what is now just Jesus Harada and Louis Mankis. 66th, 71st overall. Well over an hour down. So again, zero threats in that department. Totally broken up. So even though they have a healthy gap, they could maybe hang on for the stage. It's going to be difficult. Uh, but Peloton definitely shrunk a lot more than I expected it to on this second climb. Um, this is maybe one of those territories where I need to get in control so that I can maximize my rest. Uh, there's eight chasers that include Adam Yates, uh, which would definitely help the leader. Carapaz lost, but I'd rather see this group not come back in contact, even though Jay Vine is there. I'd rather use McNulty at this point and go, hey, you're 15th. You're 15th overall anyway, right? So uh, we are looking at... Thibaut Nice is not a threat. Coos, Dens are well down. Uh, so really there's 12 contenders in this group. Bernal and McNulty are kind of the only ones that are that little bit further back trying to move up the order uh, as there's a pretty healthy gap. There's like 14th, 13th are missing. Uh, 10th is missing. 8th is missing. Looking pretty good. Of course, the uh, top four are all there. And so the, those threats are around. Bill Bow and Thomas are still here. Uh, Hindley is still here. So those threats to my position are still around. We're halfway through. I'm going to take control to uh, to get some maximized rest on this descent. And then, yeah, we gel up at the bottom. I've already used my gel. So I would like to have maximum rest. The first riders are at the base of the Turini descent. They're entering the feed zone. Strong rides away there, as I'm not willing to pedal. Gosh, this just continues though. This is so crazy technical. I have recovered though, so I, I really could just speed this that uh, back up. All right, into the feed zone, and am I still in the group? There we go. All right, sitting up. Yes, the group is still here. They've made contact. We're just inside 5K to the feed zone, so that's all coming together. McNulty, uh, you can see, did he was stronger than me at the top of the climb. I'm back to virtually full strength. I've pedaled for a couple hundred meters is all, uh, but McNulty... Very much not. Others around me should not be. This one's a cat one. It's a little easier, but it's not. Right? The numbers are we're down to 16 riders. Uh, we did drop a couple more. And a Venipole? Ooh. Number two overall, a Venipole and Carapaz. Vlasov, Bardet are all chasing. Yeah, I really don't want that group to, to get back in. But Jay Vine, among those who ended up getting dropped. Moss. Yeah, he's only 20th. Pitcock only 18th. Good for McNulty, obviously. Um, and we're down to 556. So over that descent and kind of leading along the way, of course, Corporate Strong. I made one little mistake and he opened a gap and that pulled it away. But leading a good chunk of that, uh, I caught that group ahead and we pulled back a good minute on that descent. All right, let's start with gels. Okay, I'll consume a feed. Got to make sure you make this climb to set yourself up for the final climb. 
Intermediate sprint, Christian Rodriguez leading the way. So he caught up with Mankies and Harada. 18 in our group now, so we are losing some riders out the back. Guys like Kuss and Moss each kind of got dropped there. I'm doing better than... Oh, shoot. Pagacher. Fingergaard. Carapaz with his no energy has attacked. He, he makes contact and then he attacks. Okay, so we see four riders go clear. And I've already got 40 seconds. But I'm not really racing those guys. I'm not competing for the podium. Like that podium was so far away. So we'll, we'll stay put. Lost my teammate, though. I wanted McNulty to make it through that so that he could be with me for the final climb to protect me then. Whoa. About to hit the top, and I'm about to bonk out. Uh, okay. Gotta take quick control here. The bonk out is what we need to avoid. So, 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 don't bonk, don't bonk. There you go. I can lose contact briefly because I can get it back on the descent very quickly. Tuck and I'll get speed immediately and accelerate. There we go, up to 75 kilometers an hour. I will make contact soon. So I lose contact here for just a moment. There's only five riders there plus the guys we're chasing. And there you go. That hard break zone and I'm right back in with them. So that's Bilbao, Roglic, Thomas, guys that I need to be beating, Thomas and Bilba or Bilbao, at least staying with, right? I need to beat them. Hindley, and one more ahead of us, leading the charge down the hill at the moment. Avenapol. So he again is chasing. Ahead of us, Harper from the breakaway. And then Pagacher and I'm assuming Vingegaard. No, Vingegaard's even further up the road. Let, let's figure out where we're at here. Uh, so we have Jesus Harada alone. Vingegaard just 47 seconds behind. We were like seven minutes down one climb ago. Uh, over six of that's been made up. Christian Rodriguez, who was leading, is down to third on the road. Pagacher has Mankeys with him, so it's really just the two of them. Uh, and then we're being led, of course, by Mr. Second Place. And then, uh, so that's first and third up the road. Second, leading our group, being forced into the work. And four, five, six, seven, and nine. Definitely with contenders around me that I got to watch out for. Uh, McNulty gets dropped, chasing, and a minute and a half down behind us, Lechnesud, Carlos Rodriguez, Fortunato, breakaway guys that came together. There's Vlasov, who was chasing. He's further down, not far behind those guys, though. Carapaz did get dropped. He tried to attack when he had low energy after chasing before. Didn't last long, uh, but almost a minute behind him is McNulty on his own riding for GC. So he's got the right idea. He's trying to make the best time he can, but he's already 522 down. So not not looking good for his chances of moving up the order too much. But we're really looking at, you know, you got through ninth place and Vlasov in 12th. And otherwise, uh, you're really missing a lot of riders. 10th, 11th, 13th, 14th are all missing and behind McNulty. So actually, he's... Not looking so bad. I mean, his chances of cracking the top 10 are, are not happening. But uh, to move up a spot or two, very well could happen. All right, back to the race. Back to my... Uh, back to my recovery on descent. This. Much less technical. Much straighter. but also not as steep of a descent. So it's kind of a mix of <laughs> not quite getting the pace that I need on this descent. I have to pedal some here at times to get up to speed. I mean, yeah, speed drops rapidly. It's not as fast, which means these guys are, they're not gonna recover hardly at all.
All right, well, the descent is done. I'm almost fully recovered, but no gel left. And like I said, my, my beginning energy for this climb, even though maximized, my maximum's down. That's, that's the concern here, is do I have enough? We are a minute 49 behind Harada. We're a minute behind Vingegaard. 45 seconds behind Pagacar. Pagacar is putting himself in... Well, really, both of them are putting themselves in harm's way a little bit. They've got one breakaway rider with them, but I don't know why the breakaway rider would ride. And so, the final ascent that pans towards the mountains classification of this Tour de France has begun. The cold, the I got a couple gold. guys contributing here, but most just sitting on a very regular slope, Henley working between six four and eight percent. And Venable working to try to chase his podium, which is definitely going to hurt his chances and Henley as well. You know they'll be the first two along with Harper to get dropped from the group, but after that, I'm probably honestly, I'm probably the next one. I will sit on and just watch my energy. It's come down a lot, and we're barely at the base of the climb. 15.9k, 7.3%. And, yeah, my energy is dropping pretty dang rapidly. Um, of the mindset that I'm going to have to sit up early and just climb my tempo through the climb instead of trying to hang with these guys. And just try to lose as little time as possible but obviously sitting on the wheel conserves energy but if they're riding hard that doesn't terribly that doesn't work terribly well right you burn too much energy i mean i've already burned half my energy and we're like a k up the climb and we're catching guys like the gadger a venipol has been dropped so Hinley doing the work for Roglic to try to chase a podium position. And Avenipol was trying to chase his fight for the overall win or for second place. Hinley's going to keep riding. Jeez. The front of the race will struggle to widen the gap. And Avenipol is like 11 minutes ahead of me overall. So I'm not going to catch him for the under 25. I'm not going to catch him for a podium position. I'm not going to hang with these guys. Look how tired I am already. But there's Vingegaard as well. The end of the stage is not far off. Stay awake. It will soon start to move in the peloton. The breakaway is being Pretty minute 20 ahead. Here goes Roglic. Ooh, I thought Roglic was going to attack, but Pagacar kind of squeezed him off there. Now we sit up, now that we've caught the key guys. And this is better for me. Now, oh, nope. Here comes the next attack. Roglic and Vindigard up the road already. Now Pagacar's going to have to work. And then they're going to go up tempo again. I can't handle this much longer. Roglic can't hang with Vingegaard, though. Christian Rodriguez gets dropped. The leader of the general classification does not necessarily have to attack. Now Depending looking at the top lead, 10 on the stage, despite my weak climbing the rating. The but uh, the next acceleration, I need to sit up. I can't handle this tempo much longer at all. I'm going to see if somebody will come through, because right now, the ride tempo, nobody wants... Bilbao wants to contribute, but he's not contributing. So let's see what happens if I sit up. Will he contribute? He will. That's Hindley with me, and... Oh, yeah, we're not a very strong group. Down to three as Harper drops. I'm at least looking at a top eight for the stage, six, seven, eight. Despite how weak I am and sitting on this is not hurting... Got a long ways to climb here. Let's keep an eye on what's going ahead. Harada has slipped behind those guys. He was at the front of the road, and we're catching him. There's Harada now. And are we going to just ride right on past? I'm very low on energy trying to keep up as Bilbao is trying to chase Thomas. The man at the front is five kilometers from the so finish. Really, really low energy at this point, but just, just hanging on. I'm going to have to take control here shortly, and we'll get that quickly out of the land as we come up on the... Oh, I bonked out. 
before taking control. All right, so at the front, it's Vingegaard solo, but Roglic is just five seconds behind. He's at 4.4K. Pagacar is 17 down. And then Thomas, and then the three of us. But with the bonk out, I'm probably going to get dropped by these guys, maybe. Yes, I do. Okay, we'll get back to full strength, and then I need to set my tempo. 5K banner. 5K banner from here. All right, so we'll push on. 5K, just steady, steady climb. I do have my gel, so if we can accelerate just a hair. So I am going to lose time to the two guys that are chasing me. Others around, though, are losing more. Venipal, in particular, losing a bunch of time. It's going to clearly drop him to third. Left for the man in front. Okay, topping off with the gel. Keep the tempo up. Meanwhile, behind me... I'm well over a minute ahead of Harada, and I'm quickly going out further. And then a group of five is chasing three minutes behind me. Three minutes down. So very secure to the chasers. Very secure. Uh, and seventh on the road. Come Considering on. I'm a 73 Two mountain, seventh on the road is fantastic. Nothing's Considering I was hoping to keep with Thomas and Bill Bow, and they're two of the guys that are up the road ahead of me. Not so fantastic. Okay, back down to the steadiest of tempos with 3k left now. So I was able to keep that going for about 2k, but we used the rest of the gel and are now kind of maxed out on that tempo. But Rod is more than two minutes down now, and it's still almost three to that group. They actually dropped another rider, so there's just four of them chasing. I'm two minutes behind Thomas. And here's the red pennant for the man of the front. And no, I'm th three minutes behind Thomas. Ouch. Yeah, I'm not going to reach him now, especially with the uh, time trial. He'll be ahead of me, and I will not be able to catch him. So I'm going to be out of the top five. Because um, Roglic is fourth, right? And he's way up the road. Thomas... 6th or 7th, he's way up the, route, the road. The question is now about Bill Bow, who has dropped Hindley. Vingegaard about to cross the line at the front. I'm inside 2K, so not too bad on that. Not too bad at all. But, again, I'm dropping two positions. It looks like I'm headed for 7th place. Uh, Bill Bow more than a minute ahead of me now. More than a minute ahead, and I only had a did I have a one minute gap? I might still have a chance when it comes to Bill Bow and a battle for like sixth place overall here on stage 21. Uh, but we've still got 1.3k to go. It could get worse and I definitely can't accelerate other than just that tiny bit towards the finish. And in fact, let's do that. Pagacar's one. Pagacar has taken second. Roglic slipped to third. So Pagacar timed things a little bit better. Thomas has already finished fourth, and I'm just now crossing the 1K banner. That's quite a ways behind. Uh, nearly spent. I'm going to have to drop back down. I have to drop back down, but we'll bring it right up to the limit. Bill Bow crosses the line, fifth. Okay, dropping it back down. Hinley crosses the line, sixth. There is the line for our final road stage of this Tour de France. And no, I will not hang on to my fifth place, but what a ride for such a weak climber on a very, very difficult stage. I'm way ahead of McNulty, who was so much stronger. He's got 1.8K left, so he's got a similar gap to what I had to uh, the leaders. To me. With the fatigue, with the ability level, without a head start, to get seventh I think was a great result but it's still one that hurt because Thomas was so far up the road because Bill Bow ended up nearly two minutes up the road it definitely hurts the overall position but it also was one of those kind of inevitable things I've had a lot of good things happen but reality has to strike and that's a couple times in this tour where it's struck it's been a very hard thing to try to hang on uh, part of me thinks I probably should have gone in the break, especially when it went out to such a big advantage. It would have been great to be in that breakaway. I could have contended for the stage, most likely. But at the same time, if I'm in that breakaway, 30-something riders, 8 minutes? Like, are they giving that breakaway 8 minutes? 
say it's the same 30 riders and I'm just a part of it, are they allowing it to go out to the eight minutes on such a short stage? Maybe not. Say they do, I think we're winning that stage or at least five minutes further up the road, four minutes further up the road. <sighs> but it's so hard to say, right? That That's a big if on whether they would allow that break, that sort of leeway. But it was a great test of what what we're capable of. The stamina making up largely teammates, domestiques helping, making up largely. But really, I only had that support for two climbs. From that third climb, it was just McNulty and I. And I was trying to not use McNulty, seeing that I was a little stronger than he was at that point. Seeing him fall away before the top of that third climb was disappointing because if he's still there, if he's in my small group on that descent, I can use him at the base of that fourth climb and last quite a bit longer and lose less time. I would say we'd probably lose a, a minute and a half less and been almost with Bill Bow to the end. Been, you know, with, with Bill Bow and Henley just about to the end even and could have maybe at least saved a minute. <laughs> so sad sad on that part that i was unable to to get that or unable to get that support from mcnulty mcnulty by the way finishes 1306 down 28th on the stage so he did slip back a bit quite a bit i mean he was there with with guys like coos uh, was he not i guess he was a little behind that group but to to lose an additional five minutes on those guys shows that uh, he really struggled on that final climb 40 points for jesus harada but that's not going to take that jersey away from me i have won the king of the mountains just got to get through the final stage now and with the struggling i take the young riders classification for the day gain two minutes but that still leaves me nine minutes behind a venable and as a team seventh on the day thir 13 minutes loss to Bahrain victorious and that's uh I think we only had about a 10 minute cushion on them so I have a feeling that's going to put us behind them so in the GC just as I suspected I've dropped to seventh place Pagatcher leads Vingegaard moves back up to second place and Avenapol drops a whole heap of time from a minute down to 10 15 behind Terrible day for Eventipol. Huge, huge time losses. And Roglic is only a minute and a half down on him. But Eventipol, definitely the better time trialist. Should be able to hang on. But what if he has a day like he just had? His form is way down in the dumps. And that uh, could give Roglic a chance for the podium. Which is quite surprising. Uh, but we're looking at a clear top two now. The normal top two. We're looking at a clear third and fourth. And then the hunt for five. Well, it's not a done deal, but Thomas is the best time trialist. Uh, from 43 seconds behind, can I catch Bilbao? Or can I just put in a similar time to him? Uh, that's the big question. Can we get back up to sixth anyway to end this tour? Regardless, seventh is phenomenal considering we spent many many stages in the breakaway and went and won the king of the mountains uh, and a couple of stages Henley, not quite four minutes down should not contend with me uh, i should be safe in seventh looking at maybe sixth carapaz slips a bit further down and is ninth carlos rodriguez up to 10th van art drops another eight minutes down to 11th and mcnulty drops one position behind bernal and he's 15, 16, or 17, depending on what happens. Bernal's definitely a better time trialist, but McNulty's a pretty good time trialist, so maybe, just maybe. Uh, his form is terrible also, though. Confirmation, KOM, comfortably still ahead. Points third, Young Rider, second, closer gap. Team classification, we do drop behind Barrio Victorious by six minutes. And with one stage left, but a huge points haul for the overall being decided in the next stage. Um, for now, anyway. Still ahead of Pagatcher, but 
I, I think that's only going to last a day longer. But with a seventh place finish, I should be able to hang on to at least a top two position, you would think. We now welcome a rider in the top ten onto the ramp for this individual time trial. He'll do his utmost to improve his ranking. Let's cheer him loudly. Here we go, final stage of our first Tour de France. Here we go. And it's gonna be an incre incredibly difficult one. Buttons don't work for a second there. We've already got a few seconds of time loss. Looks like we're in Monaco. It will quickly start to climb. That's where you've got to go hard. Very it's much looks like we're in Monaco, especially when you look at this. Go. For the moment, keep a good aerodynamic position. Go. Under the casino. Crazy long distance, 36k. One very big climb, a second climb shortly thereafter, and a lengthy descent. Watch out. Look up. You're coming Not to much flat. Start to climb in one kilometer. After the next bend, go on. Stay focused. First, first sector. We're looking for 23 minutes, and we're about to begin climbing. It is possible to use the time trial position a little bit here and there. There's a lot of tight switchbacks, and you really gotta be careful and get just a little push coming out. Get, get that speed back up, maintain that high tempo. But we are burning energy like crazy. Kung has the best time right now with a 22.32. Definitely looks like I'm not going to be <laughs> contesting that, but that's obviously not a surprise. On, keep going, go. 26 kilometers an hour right now. It's a little steep at 7% for, uh, for a tuck. Settle in and here we go. Second glide. Final climb. Go on, don't give up. 28, 20 at the base. Go, go. Ah, here's Bill Bow. He's definitely pushing a bit harder than I am right now. But I'm so low on energy. I can't push much harder than this. So getting overtake on. Uh Avenipol, Pagatcher, Roglic are now the top three at that first time sector getting under 22 minutes, which obviously is uh, much better than I was doing. It's close to two minutes behind that first time check. So for a seventh place rider, that's not going well. Compared to Bill Dow, that's obviously not going well at all. So we're definitely not going forward, we're going backwards. But we reached the top, got a little bit left in the tank. Okay, I need to get back into the TT, but this is a very tight Oh, oi, oi, hey. Go on, now it's downhill. There's loads of bends. Watch your lines. Okay, pedal softly. That last little bit of energy is burning out through here. Now it's time to start coasting. Instead of breaking through here, I'll, I'll take that few seconds time loss to recover the energy to go faster later. Clearly do not Watch have the energy the to uh, make bend. this work. I'll take 67 kilometers an hour. TT. Huge left-hander coming up. Out of the TT early. Breaking early. Breaking, 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 breaking. Holy cow, just made that. I was breaking way before that turn. And I I have to nearly stop to corner, not even in the TT. 
Uh, that's just insane. We've reached the bottom, at least. Wow. Wow, that was so rough. I dropped from 47th to 56th at the second time check. That descent was, uh... Difficult. We're inside 6k left. I would think that I've conserved a little bit more energy, though, and can push. We'll give it a shot. Yeah, it's 5k. I should be able to push harder than this. Uh, TT, corner, back in. Oh, come on, where's my pedaling? Straight to the finish. Stay narrow. Push those pedals. 4k. Full gas. I, I have the energy to be full gas here. do more it's it's 3k it's only 3k yes i'm burning energy fast but i can tell that i did save more yeah we're already coming up on 2k maximum tt effort 1.5k 1k tight corner out of the saddle out of the saddle 700 meters. Full gas all the way. Full gas all the way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This tour is done. Whew. That was a tough, tough time trial. I'm hoping I gained a little more time there at the end because... Okay, so Avedipol takes the stage. Roglic, Kung, Pagacar, Thomas, McNulty. Same time as Thomas. Great time for him. That's going to help him move up. Bill Bow, though, right there. Minute five. Uh, a bit stronger than I expected him to be. Minute six, uh, the Yates brothers. And there's your top 15. And uh, I'm nowhere to be seen. Much more than the two minutes down. Van Art was two minutes down. Surprising there. Uh, oh, he's got a cold. So he's ill. So McNulty, sixth. Jay Vine was 32nd. I was 66th on the stage. Three minutes and 40 eight seconds down that is a big time loss and that is going to hurt my gc position i don't think i'm going to be retaining seventh place i should still be in should still be comfortably in the top 10 i would think but <laughs> is it though is it i'm still seventh okay but the gap behind me was plenty sufficient pagatcha wins Fingergaard ends up three and a half minutes down of Edipol at just inside of 10. Roglic 11, Thomas 17, Bilbao 19. I was 22, 24 down, and I get seventh place in my first uh, Tour de France, my first Grand Tour, and half the time of Brandon McNulty, who got back up to 15th place. Uh, what was his timing like? He had a much closer grouping. You know, it's good that he pulled ahead of Bernal. Uh, McNulty is a good time trialist, but Bernal should be riding for jerseys. Not sure quite what's happened to him uh, to be where he's at at this point in his career. I win the King of the Mountains, and that's a huge relief. We we got a, um, a major objective completed out of this. Second in the Young Rider classification, back to over 10 minutes down. We do get sixth as a team. We stay six minutes down on Bahrain Victorious to the stage 20 result be the decisive one to not crack the top five there but the combativity i get fourth place great tour great tour two stage wins king of the mountains jersey that is as much as we could have hoped for beforehand at one point being in that top five late in the tour leaves you hopeful but very difficult stage 20 very difficult stage 21 not either one of them being my strong suit at this point in time uh only slipping two spots I think is probably a good thing but that was a lot of time lost in those last two stages individual rankings Pagacar does move into the lead but I'm only 19 points behind him picking up 95 for that seventh place finish uh, that's that's pretty awesome I'm a hundred ahead of a who won the final stage so he got a lot of bonus points for that victory and then a high GC finish Th that's great that is great as we head into the last portion of this season as a team drop to third we do drop to third but only just just behind uae 
uh, just 18 points down visma lab pulling away a fair bit but yeah this is this is going so well i mean we're gonna have a huge payout now at the end of the season and that's going to allow me well for one my salary is going to go up significantly it's going to eat up some of that but uh we're definitely going to be able to make some upgrades to the team uh, for what i presume is going to be the last season because i, I think i'm going to gain a lot from this race in particular i'm going to be a, a contender now Am I though? Let's find out. Up to an 80.4 overall, and I've definitely picked up a big one. In the summary, there's eight, eight places where we've made gains. Win the polka dots, win a mountain stage, win a flat stage, finish the tour, finish 10 mountain stages, win 10 intermediate sprints. I thought I needed one more. Nope, I made it. And then lead at the top of a cat two, seven times lead at the top of a cat one or ours cat five times what did that do to the individual attributes though to bring me up to an 80.4 and into that elite category recovery in a plus is all but done there's only two left when the green jersey and the super combat div for uh yeah so my recovery is fantastic we're at 95 percent agilities in a plus cobblestone's still a 66 though that that's going to be the hard one to uh, be terribly competitive in. It's my lowest attribute by a wide margin now. But resistance is an 80. That's only plus one, though. Illibardia, though, soon will get me another point. And yeah, leading the way out of a four or five star sector without a cobble rating, that's going to be damn near impossible. So uh, we're looking at one more resistance point coming soon. But that's a very rating at 80 stem is now an 81 we're also going to get that il lombardia one there and the world champion possibility are we past no the world championships are still coming i could be a contender for that especially with my new ratings now uh, that could be another point so we've got one to two more stamina points coming and uh, that's already a very good rating and that's what was really helping me right the mountain rating was a 74 it wasn't a 73 so a 74 combined with really good stamina is what made me way better and going steady 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 with the tempo was really helping me out but time trial and prologue does not improve a team trial could get me another point when an individual time trial pff, yeah right when a team time trial that's my better chance to get to, from a 72 to a 74 at this stage uh, and that's uh, that's about it i mean there's not much more and that time trial rating is not good as we saw in that final stage i lost a lot of time granted i did not perform well i did not perform well in that one and i lost additional time that i wouldn't have lost otherwise that descent was so technical and ridiculously hard and it's not like race in those stages it really is not but mountain rating jumps from a 74 to an 80 <laughs> combined with an 81 stamina i'm now an elite climber i pick up two points for leading at top i pick up a point for mountain stage I pick up a point for finishing the tour finish get a point for winning a mountain stage and get a point for polka dots i just gained six mountain points six it's crazy crazy that is freaking crazy now the only progress left because winning a yellow jersey right that's game over the moment that happens so we're looking at uh well series over uh mountain stage win a mountain stage like the next two of those but i'm very capable of that now all of a sudden with an 80 mountain rating my medium mountain rating goes from 78 to an 80 as well. El Lombardia will get me another point. Uh, I've got to win a couple medium mountain stages. i got to win El Lombardia to, uh, to also get additional points. So there's more opportunities there. I'm certainly capable. I, I, I could win just about anything now. Just about. Hill's still a 78. What do we have left? Win a hilly stage five more times. Win the Ronde or the Age Best Only Age. Well, I'm very capable of that early next season and haven't done so so I'll, I'll target those couple of races there's going to be a lot of skipping races now that we have this rating in in place 
Win intermediate sprints. We are up to 11. I'm not worried about those other nine. Win flat stages, definitely capable, but I'm going to be bypassing flat stages. So I think my acceleration is very likely locked in at a 79. My sprint is going to be locked in at a 74. I think a 74, 79, which those are both plus two, and I was already pretty good in that department. I think those are as good as they're going to get. Flat, a 73. Looking at lots of flat stage wins is the only way to get this any higher. I think a 73 is about as high as that's going to go as well. So I'm pretty sure those three are now locked in. Hills, mountains, medium mountains all have a little bit of a couple points that I could still get. Time trial, intermediate, uh, not intermediate, uh, team time trial is the only way to gain. And then we're going to grab some Il Lombardia points uh, on these other guys. Otherwise, I think we're just about as developed as we're going to get. And now it's just a matter of going out and finishing the job win the big races from here but specifically going for the Tour de France yellow jersey and I think I'm going to be very capable now because I'm six mountain points and a stamina point stronger than I was prior to the race so we just took seventh uh, the time trial is going to be the hardest thing to complete the win but I think I'm going to win plenty of stages I think I'm going to easily get two stage wins and, and then some and uh, be very competitive with the GC guys. I just have to be smart how I deal with them and attack them and beat them. That is going to do it for this episode, though. That is the Tour de France. First time in the bag, and I really think it's only going to take one more. I'm the Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.